Well, we got about almost 13,000 kilometers on the car now. Um, took it up to a nice road trip, I don't know, last month or so. It was awesome. Uh, but now I'm actually starting to have issues with some misfiring going on. Um, like this engine obviously is going to be fairly hard on ignition components because it is a higher compression ratio. Uh, I am running a lot of timing on it, which means that there's even more cylinder pressure, which makes the coil work harder, which then places more stress on everything else in the system. Um, uh, I'm getting the misfire basically, uh, basically when I accelerate sharply at uh, between two and 2,500 RPM, which says to me that there is an issue. Uh, probably with, you know, one of those basic ignition components out there on the table. But again, I haven't done anything with the coil or anything yet, but we'll do the uh, cheap stuff first. I guess the coil is cheap too. I think the coil is probably cheaper than the spark plugs I bought anyway. So we've pulled everything out. I give those holes a nice clean. I guess right now would be a good time to run a compression check, but I already know that the cylinder pressure in this engine is like 260 psi or so so it's a really healthy very strong engine the uh, spark plugs actually don't look horrific you can see if i can focus that close yes i can you can see that there's mild bit of oil consumption uh, nothing much the mixture is quite spot on the heat range looks mostly good. Uh, I can see along the um, the ground electrode, it's about halfway. Yeah, the heat range is good. Um, so the heat range, these are heat range sevens, BCPR seven ES. Uh, I guess with the yeah the one sixty four S head, that's what this engine is from. This is from a one sixty four S. The, they actually require different spark plugs than the normal Alpha V6. So if you have a 164S uh, and, and a 164L, or the same engine that's in the old Milano, which is the 164L engine, it will take the 1316 socket. That will not work on a 164S head. You will need the 5 8 or 16 millimeter socket to take off your spark plugs uh, because the hex actually interferes with there's like a little machined area inside of the uh, bore there that it fits into. So it will not torque properly. So the spark plugs which I've chosen are the NGK Iridiums. Hopefully we'll get a little bit more life than 12,000 K out of these guys since they're probably like six times as expensive. Very highly regarded plug. I've used it before in my sobs. This is actually the exact spark plug that goes in my sobs. Uh, heat range seven with the BC series. So that's the 16 millimeter heads, iridium. The uh, distributor cap is utterly annihilated. As you can clearly see, I put the goop on the spark plug leads on both ends at the spark plug end too, as you can see, um, to help keep the spark where it needs to be. But you can see that there's been definitely some arcing going on inside there pretty harsh um yeah like high compression engine is going to be really rough to ignition components so as we can see it has been very rough the rotor doesn't look awful but it also doesn't look amazing either so got new ones of those just standard bosch stuff where's this one made made in spain well better than mexico right let's see what the actual product is made It's going to be exactly the same. Standard Bosch equipment. So we'll throw that all back together. Torque, it, torque the spark plugs to the 20, 20 or 21 foot pounds that they're supposed to be. And we'll uh, presumably fix the misfiring issue, which I've gotten over the last little while. But yeah. Engine seems to be running real nice. Although... I can't see any detonation or anything else going on. They look just pretty worn, as you can see. Yeah, we'll gap those and throw them in, report back.